today, Fujifilm just released new firmware updates for a number of their ca- You know how this works. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome to Pal to Tech. So today, Fujifilm released firmware updates for the following cameras. The GFX100 and 100S, the 50S2 and 50R, the X-H2S and X-H2, the X-T5, and the X-S20. Some of these updates today are important bug fixes, but the one for the X-S20 in particular does look interesting. However, let's start now with the GFX lineup. The GFX50R and GFX100 both get a considerable number of updates this time around, and most notably to support the brand new Fujifilm app. What's that you say? Fujifilm has a new app? Yes, there is. And I have a way too long video on every single aspect of that app. And it is great that both of these GFX models will now support the new app. There's also a number of menu changes for those GFX cameras, in particular to better support the new app, as well as improvements to the camera's Wi-Fi. There's also a number of bug fixes for the GFX lineup in general. If you use the GFX 100 or 100S for astrophotography, then you're gonna wanna check them out. Same thing if you use the 20 to 35 millimeter F4 lens with the GFX 100, 100S, and 50S2, as they have improved the camera's handling of that lens. There's also also additional bug fixes for those cameras as well, and I will leave a link to the update page where you can read all about the GFX camera updates in more detail. The X-T5, X-H2, and 2S cameras only get bug fixes this time around, unfortunately. The main one is a fix for what Fujifilm says, brightness of the subject rarely gets dark momentarily when shooting a movie with mode S. I'm assuming they're talking about the focus mode setting to S on the camera and not the PASM dial that are on the X-H2 and X-H2. H2S cameras, but I'm not 100% sure, but I, I think that's what it is. Anyhow, if you're shooting movies and you do notice that your footage sometimes jumps down in exposure for a brief second, then this update should fix that. I've not noticed it myself, but certainly enough people have, and so Fujifilm has issued that fix. Also, when shooting video on the X-H2S, some banding issues that would appear in F-Log2 have now been resolved. And so saved for last, the most interesting firmware update today concerns the XS20. When I first reviewed this camera, I was very impressed with its autofocus algorithm. And today's firmware update, however, improves upon it even more. Apparently, it now adds even better autofocus tracking on subjects that are moving at high speed in and out of the frame. And the firmware update will also enable autofocus to start focusing at a faster rate than before. And Fujifilm has indicated that this could certainly help out in situations like shooting sports. I'm definitely going to test this one out as I do have a loner XS20 for just a few more days before I have to return it. And so if I can get some good comparison footage with this camera, I will update you on the performance of autofocus both before and after today's firmware update. Also with this update for the XS20 camera is the same bug fix, so to speak, that addresses shooting in the S mode, which I think is AFS, right? Where the exposure jumps down in exposure for a brief moment while you're shooting video. If you've noticed that problem when shooting on an XS20, be sure to get today's update. So overall, today's firmware updates do go a bit beyond the typical bug fixes, especially with the XS20 camera. And it is great that support for the new app has been addressed for the GFX50R and the GFX100. As far as getting the firmware updates, I will leave a link down below in the description of this video where you can access all of the information that I've discussed today. If you're planning on updating the firmware of a Fujifilm camera that already supports the Fujifilm app, you can definitely use the app and update the firmware on your camera right from the app. If you want full details on how to do this, see my full video breakdown of the new app and how to update the firmware on that. Yes, I have a table of contents where you can jump right to that part of the video where I talk about updating the firmware. And you can also use the method I prefer, which is the SD card. You put an SD card in the computer, download the firmware to the SD card, put the SD card in your camera, press and hold the DISP back button on the back of the camera while you turn it on and go from there. Unfortunately, there aren't any updates at this time for the older Fujifilm camera models. And I really do hope that that will be addressed in the next round of updates. Until then, I will leave a link down below in the description of this video where you can learn about and download today's updates. Thank you for watching today and I'll see you very soon in a new video.